Hello subscriber and viewer today we are going to have vstub tutorial in android so first we will see what exactly vstub so vstub it is invisible to the user it is invisible to the user because it is having zero layout area so question comes in your mind then why we use vstub vstub it is used when you want to capture any layout area at the runtime, then we use vstub for example if you see here if you click on hide button then whatever the layout there it will be hidden and if you click on show then the layout will be captured at the runtime. for that you have to use vstub in the program so while dropping the use term this bunch of code will be added and you have to set width and height and then uh, you have to create one resource file layout file that is custom.xml suppose the name is custom and there you have to add image view for taking the image and suppose the whatever the image is there that you can add and then in the view stub you have to mention that reference you have to mention that layout suppose you are creating resource file custom.xml you have to represent here then after this <coughs> this statement is important you have to create view stub object use this with inflate it means whenever you run the program this layout area will be visible and the image will come from the custom file and if you don't use that statement you will not see the image it will be seen to you if you click on show button only for that you have to do bunch of code means in the button click handling you have to use switch statement suppose you have two button this is the identity of button one this is the id of hide button if you use this code set visible view dot visible means after clicking that button that image will come from the image view otherwise if you click on second it will be invisible to you that image will not be seen for you means it will be hidden so in this way uh, in this way i hope you understood this concept so now i am moving in android studio for further programming so here I am in Android Studio and here I have already added the two button. First button name is show and the second is hide. Then after that you have to go in the layout and here right click select new option select the layout resource file and here you should write custom. You can give any name and here I am selecting relative layout. After that click on ok then this custom file will be added then after that here you should add the image i have already added the image into drawable that is the e.jpg then you have to add image view here then after adding image view you go in the project and select this image then it will be added here then after that you should go into your activity main.xml and here you have to search view stub here then view stub is there you have to just drop it into your project it will be invisible to you and here you should select custom your file so it will be invisible because it is having the zero layout area so go into the text side here it is wrap content you can add match parent no problem so this is the match parent then after that uh, here this part is okay margin start from margin start I want 0 to dp then after that from margin top I want 12 dp okay that's it then after this setting after this coding I am going into the activity file now and here I am checking the view stub id that is the view stub then in activity you have to write view stop vs then after creating this object button so button object i am creating two variables b1 comma b2 once it is done go downside and do the casting vs view stop find view by id r dot id dot view stub then after this b1 equals to button 
find u by d r dot id dot button first button same you have to do for for second button b t equals b two equals to button find u by id so casting part is over and now after that b b1 dot set on click listener this here the error will come alt enter select this method same way i have to add b2 b2 dot set on click listener this so after doing this you have to use here switch statement v dot get id method then after that you should represent the cases case 1 is nothing but r dot id dot button 1 s dot set visible set visibility and here view dot visible so after that you specify the break statement so here our case one is over you just copy this bunch of code and here the changes are you write second id and here in place of visible you write gone so here our bunch of code is completed now i am running the program so here our app is running okay and if i click on show that image will come if i click on hide it will be hidden so here one statement suppose if you use then at, um, then at the beginning time only at the beginning only you will be able to see the image so if you write here vs dot in flat then you see what will happen means at the beginning only the image will come so here, here you observe means when you run the program at the beginning the image will come and if you click on hide it will be disappear if you click on show it will come so this statement is important that is vs dot inflate if you write this means at the run time means uh, during the execution image will come and if you don't write this then after clicking on uh, hide button uh, sorry after click on show button only the image will come so in this way i hope friend you understood this tutorial and don't forget to subscribe my channel thank you